This is a follow-up video to the recent video that I released about the Cybergun Baby Desert Eagle, which I received from Trifecta, Air, Trifecta Airsoft, link in the description, when I won a contest giveaway that they had. Uh, I did give this to my teammate Kevin, and he used it at a recent game. Uh, really loved the way it shot, the range, and you know, he got quite a few kills with it for the day. Um, the only two negative things he said about this is um, he has another pistol that has a mag holder on it and it has that he created, you know, like the easy uh, low tech engineering, and he has had a lanyard on it. This one doesn't have a lanyard on it, didn't have a lanyard on it, and it didn't have a mag holder on it. Um, he's found that like when he's running across the field sometimes the pistol fall out he would feel the pistol drag him behind him or if he's crawling he's a sniper he crawling through the brush and sometimes the pistol will come out of the holster and he feels it tugging and he knows he lost his pistol so what we've done and I'm gonna include two pictures at the end of the video what we've done is some real low-tech engineering here and I'm gonna zoom in on on this as close as I can to give you an idea of what it looks like um, and hopefully we can you can get an idea of what we did here focus come on okay now as you can see this is a piece of just some stretchy material it's it's a old strap from a one tigress mask I usually attach the one tigress mask to uh, directly to goggles so I always have this stretchy stuff so I backed it up a little bit so we can see it better I have the mag out now so you can see um, what I have is a piece of, like I was saying, a stretchy piece of material across here that's just taped on. The other thing that I've done is I've added this lanyard mount. It's a real steel mount uh, for a swivel. And I'm going to zoom on this so you can get a better idea what it looks like. There you go. Focused off my beard and it actually went. And I'll show you and it's got the hole through which he can use his clip to get it in there so I'm gonna pull back so what you basically do to put the mag in which one guy said to me boy that really slows down your your mag changes well as a sniper you're not gonna be dumping mag after mag on somebody if you're shooting that much with your pistol you're in problems with as a sniper so what you do is you just pull this off to the around the back like so you insert your mag which right there put the velcro back or the stretchy back over then when you hit the mag if you happen to accidentally hit it in the gun it's not coming out and if it does come down a little bit put it right back in and it's good to go this has a very tight mag to start with it'll without this on here if you you press the button you have to give it a little to get it out so you're not going to really lose it but just in the field if that button is pressed and you're bouncing around bouncing around bouncing around it might see now it has come down a little bit all right just a little bit that you just press it back and it's in place but it would take a lot to get it to move down maybe that much but still bang in you're back in again so he wasn't losing the mag it's a little tight in there so I don't really think he was gonna lose it so that's the follow-up on this the pistol works like a champ like I said pictures at the end of the two sections that I've done up uh, big thanks to Trifecta Airsoft for sending this out to him, and he's going to be using it off and on for the rest of the winter. You guys have a good day, okay?